Now, it's been nearly 10 years since Berkeley implemented the first soda tax in the nation. It was approved in part to keep kids healthy. So is it working? Is the soda tax working? Here's NBC's Valina Jones. Paying extra to drink soda is what Berkeley credits for prompting more people to put down sugary drinks and drink water instead. The city was the first in the country to place a special tax on soda back in 2014. They say it only took three years to see major changes. Berkeley residents were drinking half, uh, half as much soda as they were before the soda tax passed and were drinking 29% more water. So um, it is clearly having an impact. $1.1 million generated by the one penny per ounce tax funds public health programs. Mayor Jesse Aragin says the soda tax revenue continues to decline, proving people keep drinking less. That's the outcome we wanted. We wanted ultimately to, to educate, to, uh, to invest in health programs, and to reduce the amount of consumption of sugary beverages. A new study by Kaiser Permanente finds other cities are benefiting too. San Francisco, Oakland, and Albany all followed Berkeley and passed similar taxes. Researchers say kids and teens from 2 to 19 in those cities have nearly a 2% lower body mass index on average than youth in cities without soda taxes. Lead researcher Dr. Deborah Young says it's a positive sign. Obese adults tend to um, develop, you know, high blood pressure, diabetes, cardiovascular disease. And so, you know, if we can avoid um, excess body weight among kids, um, we can, you know, eventually um, improve the health of, you know, everyone. Researchers found in cities without the tax, kids' BMI rose up to 5%. They say the most significant progress in kids were from 2 to 5 and 6 to 11, but admit other factors could be at play. We don't know if it was, you know, reduction in um, consumption or, um, per, you know, changes in purchasing behavior or if it was related to um, the combination of um, increased programming. The American Beverage Association argues the data shows no significant impact and offering consumers options with less sugar and smaller portions is more effective, saying in part intentional actions by the beverage industry have contributed to Americans consuming the lowest level of calories from beverages in decades. Berkeley voters will decide if they want to extend the soda tax permanently this November before it expires in 2026. In Berkeley, Valina Jones, NBC Bay Area News.